don't live in China. This may seem rare, but this is a very normal China situation to have their scooter right outside their apartment. Welcome to another episode of Dead Mars Daily. Alright ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing this evening? I'd like to introduce myself to you, Star, and this is the Deluxe Family Show. So girls and boys, I want to see you get off your seat back to roll to this one. Morning dance before my workout. Boom boom. It's Sunday, it's Sunday. I freaking love Sunday because I always start working Sunday. So yesterday I didn't do a vlog because because yesterday it was a lot of like the Christmas celebration. We went to church. Just the thing we sweet to do when we're abroad. We go to church to celebrate different Christmas activities. And then they celebrated actually Lucia, which is a very, very Swedish thing. And I mean, it's too early. It's like a couple weeks early, but still it was super duper beautiful. All those people sang really beautiful. <laughs> And there's small little kids that walked and were the Lucia. It was super duper beautiful. So, thumbs up for that. And before that, I've been apartment hunting. Me and Daniel are moving. So, I got to see six different apartments during the whole day. So, I didn't have time to eat something else. It was just breakfast. And after church, we went straight to a Christmas party where they only served like Christmas candy, Christmas snacks, cookies, and glug. And Glöck is basically the Swedish version of Moulin wine. It's delicious, but it's like pure sugar. So they mixed pure sugar with... Yeah. Everybody was like, they didn't get drunk, but everybody was super sugar high during that party. So that was my diet yesterday. That's why I'm here right now, early Sunday morning, to work it off. Also because I have a lot of things planned for today. Hate leg day. Oh my god, it's lovely weather today. It's like 15 degrees. It's the 2nd of December, or is it the 3rd? Maybe it's the 3rd of December today. It's the first advent and it's 15 degrees and Sorry thing for bothering you with a lot of like weather things, but, I, but I'm a Swede. Our summers looks like this. So whenever I can get sunshine, I'm like, mm, I freaking love it. Every time I meet Swedes, like when I'm traveling around in Europe, I always feel like I don't want to talk to Swedes, but when I'm in Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good? You? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So whenever I'm in Europe, I never want to talk, by the way, isn't the Shanghai people just lovely? They're always so curious about me speaking to the camera, but when you talk to them, they're always so happy. However, when I meet people down in uh, Europe, I, I don't want to talk to Swedish people, it like, feels like they're too close. But when you meet them here, when I hear, hear Swedish people around here, I feel so patriotic. And especially at events like last night with Lucia and First of Advent, etc. I don't know, I just love, love my own country. Anyways, now I'm on my way down to the uh, Taylor Market because I have designed a couple of new things that I hope is done and I have two new designs that I want to try out. They're a bit difficult. I don't know if they will pull it off, but I, I truly, truly hope they do because if they do, it's going to be amazing. New collection coming up from Detmar. Guys, right now I'm in 
Shintian Li or I'm entering Shintian Li. That's why they have all these fancy buildings, the fancy store, Cartier, Apple, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, Prada, Gucci, Gucci, Prada, Prada. This is Shintian Li. They also have very beautiful cars. Square meter price in Shintian Di is about 110,000 RMB per square meter. And that is not even included tax. <laughs> <laughs> Just made it to the market. I hope they have my stuff finished. Every now and then they say, yeah, it's finished. When, they, when I got there, they're not finished. So today I hope it's finished because I don't have time to just go down there. It's pretty far away from my place. I don't have time to just drop by. But they're lovely people, so I'm always glad when I meet them. Let's just jump into the store, okay? Was it? Oh, yeah, maybe. So, guys, they had it finished. So, I've been here now for an hour. And we're starting to finish it. I, I don't know how much it is, man, because it's a very difficult style. Very difficult style. I love it. Okay. I'm gonna jump out to my scooter, okay? Let's. Boy, did those things turn out amazing. I'm super happy. <laughs> you know when you have an idea and you don't know if it's ridiculous or not. And then when you see the result, it turns out super duper well. Whoops. Uh, it turned out way better than I thought. So I'm very, very happy. I did a few different adjustments on it. Or not on those, but on the, on the uh, pants that I ordered. So that turned out super duper good. But the thing that I wanted to tell you guys is... Now I've been here in Shanghai for about three months. So I wanted to share what I have learned during, during these three months here in Shanghai. And especially living in China. So let me change camera. So the first thing I wanted to say is that in this country everything is super slow but super fast and by that I mean when you try to do something it's always really difficult to do it it's always you have to push pretty hard you have to to like try and fail and try and fail and try and fail a bunch of time before you succeed but when you succeed it's like the ketchup effect it's like it looks kind of vulgar so so if you're really patient in this country you can create greatness but if you tr if you try to like force stuff, if you try to do it really quick, it it, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Another thing I've learned is it's super expensive in this city. I mean, I've lived in Beijing before, and there you can get around with very little money. But here, oh my goodness! And especially the housing prices—they're super duper high. One square meter here in Shanghai cost more than 100,000 RMB one square meter I will do a video about that very soon I have a lot of good information about the housing market here in Shanghai food you can get around really cheap um, you can get around with like I don't know 100 RMB per day uh, easily here but also I mean if you go to a, a little bit more fancy restaurant you can pay 100 RMB on one single meal so this city, you can get around cheap, but still it's super duper expensive. One thing that you probably have seen in my video is that Chinese people are super friendly and super curious, especially when I walk around with this camera. Everybody is like looking at me and see what is the foreigner doing and they're super friendly. Of course there are some bad people here as well, but the majority here are very nice, they're very curious, so as I used to say. Chinese people are very good people. One thing that you also probably have seen in my videos is all the expensive cars that, are, that drives around here. And I got amazed by how many rich people that live in this city. I mean, I think the average income in this city is like four or 5,000 RMB. That is like basically nothing. You can't live on that in this city. But at the same time, I've never seen so many rich people so many fancy cars anywhere else in the world and I've, I mean I've traveled quite a lot 
here it's like Porsches, it's Lamborghinis, it's Rolls Royce and as I mentioned earlier it's 170% tax on this vehicle so yeah there must be like the, the people in this town is super duper rich and the last thing I wanted to say is that it's very very easy to network in this city especially when you're a foreigner you can walk up to basically any foreigner here in this uh, city and just start talking because everybody feels that we're in the same position everybody are foreigners here in this country um, and and that I found with the Chinese people as well. You can walk up to basically anyone and they appreciate you talking to them. Maybe they're a little bit shy and they say like, oh my English isn't that good. But usually you can get around by talking English with a lot of people in this city. So that's basically the five things that I have learned during my three first months here in Shanghai. But of course, as I say, I'm new here. Now I have to... Okay guys, it's getting really cold so I put this on. I guess I'm go just gonna end the vlog there. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Magnus Tetmar. I'm an entrepreneur here in Shanghai. And if you don't, if you don't already, have subscribed to my channel. <coughs> Kill that subscribe button. Give me some love and I'll bring you a lot of cool content in the future. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.